Alright guys, I thought I would play through the recently released Portal 2. In fact, actually it's very recent, it's uh, under an hour old. But uh, yeah, I wanted to play through it, I was anxious to get across my thoughts and opinions on the game. I'm really looking forward to playing it, uh, especially after the very controversial marketing campaign behind it, which pissed off a lot of people. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm not going to speak that much throughout this LP, simply because the game is more humor based and I want that humor to come through. And uh, everything is running on the maximum details for your viewing pleasure on 1080p resolution. And uh, I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on this game, and without any further ado, let's get going. Play single player, a new game, and the courtesy call. Brand new experience for me, I'm really hoping it's good. I heard it is. I've heard from a lot of people that it's very, very good. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion I have of your no feet. mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. <laughs> if you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. That's hilarious. Good. Now, please return to your bed. I like bed. Bed sounds good. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... Nine, 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 Number nine? nine Number nine? nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Immediately. Any Are you going to open the door at any time? Are we in Silent Hill? <laughs> Hello? No? Ha! Ah! Oh, God, God. You look te um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. <laughs> Gotta love British humour. Stephen Merchant is a legend. You alright down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. <laughs> but don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Space, speak. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jump. <laughs> Never mind. Say apple. That's awesome. Apple. That's awesome. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Holy shit. Okay, Whoa. look, I wasn't gonna mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out. So, of course, the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Oh, Hold shit. on, this is a bit tricky. And, of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh... Just, just gotta get through here. Okay, I just gotta concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, see, so now I hit that one. I hit that one.
Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Oh, shit. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Okie dokie. That's the spirit. What? Go away. Good luck. Shit. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, awesome. thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry, the odds of this happening twice are very slim. <laughs> Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. Oh, I like how it has a proper loading screen as opposed to just the box that just interrupts the whole game, you know? If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Oh shit. Aperture science doesn't fuck around. Alright, our first puzzle. Let the games begin. Okay. I need to get my cube. And I need to go back through here with it. Once I've got my cube, I can put it on the button over there. Like that, you see. Easy as that. Pretty simple. First puzzle, not that Good. bad. All right. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. <laughs> awesome. It's already got the humor of the first one, definitely. It's definitely got that, uh, that spark and ch charm to it. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to reason. What? Animal king takeover? <laughs> that aperture. 
two of nineteen. Hey, hey! You made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I portal see device it, on the podium Maybe over there? Off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Oh! I could see that from there. Shit. Hello? Can you see the portal gun? No. Also, are you alive? That's important. Should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait. I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Go team. See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Seriously, he, this guy has like the bedside manner of Doctor House. It's awesome. See, look, the cake isn't a lie. She's offering it right there to Shell. Wait, what's that? Oh. Alright, now's where the fun starts. I guess. There's as good a place as any. I really don't know anything about the story, other than that this is set a long time in the future, apparently. I don't know. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read, and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics. To share. I like how this one shows where the portal is, even though you can't see it. That was always a bit of an issue with the first one, you never knew where it was. Pretty simple, okay. Ah, you can still get the cameras too. Okay, let's put the portal right there. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Looks like they got all bases covered. God, we're just plowing through these, aren't we? Surely they can't just be 19. very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in 3, 2, 1. That kind of killed the mood. Very reassuring and encouraging. It's okay though, it's okay. We got it. The cubes feel a lot heavier than on the first one as well. Hate those cameras. Very paranoid. Four of nineteen. Okay, so that one's there. One there. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard <laughs> any undeserved compliments. Excellent. You broke my portal. I always like going off the beaten path in Portal 1, because there's always these weird cryptic messages. Like these. Orange cat. Kissing, unreason, all these weird, 
cryptic clues that fans of the series will be referencing for you know, months and months to come and linking them to Half-Life Episode 3 and shit like that. Never the nevertheless, still, very intriguing. Alright, here we go. So far, really good. I like the design, I like the humour. Visuals look good. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. <laughs> uh, 5 of 19. Okay, what do we have here? Companion cube, companion cube. Let's see what this does. Orange is right there. Cool! Again. Oh, need that up as well. Oh yes, saved. Well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. <laughs> This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> so it's just introducing a lot of the features from the first one, making it accessible for new people. I can understand that. Oh. Uh, presumably just drop straight in. Alright, there we go. Aha. Uh -huh. The plot thickens. Wait, where'd it go? What? Ah, there it is. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Okay. Orange. Let's see that. Let's put it on right there. Whoa! I think it's all kinds of disorientating. Disorientating or disorienting? I don't know. Okay. I don't know why I'm just doing that whole thing again, but... Anywho... We're gonna need... Let's put the portal there... Uh. 
Oh shit! Okay, so there's no f falling damage? Okay. Oh, sh that's gonna give you one hell of a headache. Uh. Uh. Can't break that? Not that I need to, because I can just, you know, walk around the corner. Oh. Oh, I just need to do the same thing. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. <laughs> Alright, on that very positive and enlightening note, I am going to end this recording right here. Well, I'm going to start the next level anyway. And, uh, yeah, we'll call it a day for this one. I hope you all enjoyed the opening of Valve's Portal 2. Um, we'll have to more episodes. To ensure power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Okay. Yeah, we'll have more episodes coming soon. Uh, until then, why is that upside down? Okay, fucked up. Uh, until then, visit the website that we have, www.madoverdose.com. Check out our website. We have news, rants, reviews, and articles, and a whole lot more. Well, not really. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't leave any kind of fuck you spoilers comments. They'll just be deleted and blocked, and you will be on a very bad list and my personal hit list of mine. Alright, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, goodbye!